Hi. Now we are going to see how we can give a resource in Google Classroom. And for that, I am going to open our Google Classroom. And this is our Google Classroom. And this is for managing our classes. And Stream is uh, managing our present class, which we are working. And Classwork is for assigning activities and resources for our class. Then I go for, so I went to Classwork and I am going for Create. And when I go for Create, I go for creating a material. And here we can give a title. So you can say, watch uh, this. And if you want to give a description to your students here, you can type some description like watch this video or uh, uh, what any description you can give. And when you give resources, it can be either a Google Drive resource. If you have it in your Google Drive, you can. Or if you have located a very good page and if you want to give that page as a resource, you can link a web page here. Or if it is a file from your local computer, it can be uploaded. Or if it is a YouTube video, you can go for YouTube. Then here, you can search for uh, your video. If you have already the URL with you, if you have copied it is fine. Otherwise, you can search it is uh, the video here. So if I search, so I am locating my video, then by selecting this, I can just add. Otherwise, suppose you are copying that URL from URL, then you can paste the URL here. Then if I paste the URL, then you can add it here. So I, I go for Dino Thomas web. So it is located and I'm just adding. So this is how we add a uh, web content or add a resource into our uh, Google Classroom. Then uh, here also we have an option. If you know how to create Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, Google Forms, this, these things can also be given as a resource to our students. And finally, uh, so after all settings, you have to post it. So I'm going to post it. Now this is being posted into our classroom. It will be a resource for our students. And in the last uh, class in video content creation, we have seen how to create an S5P interactive video. And if you want to bring an S5P interactive video here, again, I am going for a material. And then here you can say, interactive video and description. Uh, if you want to give a description, please answer the questions in video. So if you want to give an, uh, in a description like that, you can. Then again, I am going for add. Then I go for a link. So this link we need to bring from S5P. For that, I am going to S5P. And there, as usual, I am going for this embed option. And when I go for embed option, I'm not copying the entire code. I'm just copying this much. The actual link of this video, and I'm just copying this. And I'm coming back to Google Classroom and pasting it here. Then I add a link. Now this link is added to our Google Classroom. If I click on this, directly this S5P interactive video will be played here. And so all interactions are here. So it can be given for students. So this is how we share S5P videos here. It is not only really S5P videos. If you happen to know other ICT enabled 
teaching learning techniques, the resources you create there can be brought here by just copying the link to those pages. And finally, I'm going for posting. So this is also posted to our Google Classroom. So this is how we give resources for our students using Google Classroom. Hope you'll be able to do this. Thank you and bye.